Welcome to Momberger Airport Information Video Report. This time we're actually going to bring you a series of brief reports all revolving around Airports Council International, or ACI for short. We're heading to Calgary, Alberta to attend the 22nd ACI World Annual General Assembly and the joint ACI World and ACI North America Conference and Exhibition. After landing at Calgary International Airport, we will have a look at the airport's largest ever expansion project. We will then move on to the ACI exhibition and review some of the key technology highlights on display there. This will be followed by a series of interviews with ACI leadership. So let's get started. Let's fly off to Calgary on the hometown carrier WestJet. The Calgary International Airport Authority is currently undertaking its largest expansion program in its history. It includes a 14,000 foot runway at the cost of $620 million. Work on the new runway was started in April 2011 and all told the entire paved area will be more than 1 million square meters. The longer 14,000 foot runway, the largest commercial runway in Canada when it opens in May 2014 is required to allow larger aircraft with higher loads to fly greater distances to overseas destinations. The International Facilities Project will add a new international concourse that will incorporate sustainable design principles, balancing the need to create additional space, reduce energy consumption, and minimize environmental impact. When the new concourse opens in October 2015, it will have five levels and 183,500 square meters of space, contain Canada and U.S. customs facilities, and have 22 aircraft gates. Let's move on to the city and the ACI event site at the BMO Center on the famous Calgary Stampede grounds and join over 1,600 delegates and over 100 exhibitors from around the world. The conference covered economic, legal, environmental, infrastructure development, and government regulatory issues. ACI World and ACI North America held a joint press conference, followed by the official launch of the Airport Excellence and Safety Program, also known as APEX and Safety. The APEX and Safety Program provides assistance for ACI members to improve their level of safety and compliance with ICAO standards and recommended practices. The exhibition showcased many of the key innovations in airport technology many dealing with new developments that enhance customer service, communications, and wayfinding. The world's airports are turning to mobile apps, social media, and intelligent technologies, including geolocation services, to make the passenger experience better, according to the latest CETA Airport IT Trends Survey. The annual CETA survey, in partnership with ACI, reported that improving the passenger experience is the number one driver of IT investments in the majority of the world's airports. Power charging stations are now even found in airport seating, both for wireless charging via so-called power mats and through power outlets for electrical cords. One trend in Wi-Fi services is to provide free internet access to the traveling public, paid for by advertising. Another related technology provides a new and better means of wayfinding for travelers through terminals. We spoke with two companies at the ACI event that are at the leading edge of this trend. We are an operator of wireless internet services in airports around the U.S. Uh, currently operating 15 airports from Boston, Miami, LAX, San Francisco and others uh, with an angle primarily these days on providing complementary service in response to what has become the number one request of airports from a, a customer service standpoint. People, for whatever reason, have come to expect having free Wi-Fi in their travels. Mm -hmm. And it's now, f it's now made its way up to the larger airports where it's become, at, at least in the airports we speak to, the number one passenger complaint that they get. Mm -hmm. So as we see the tide in the U.S. airports continuing to shift towards free, I suppose it's logical to argue that the travelers who come to the U.S. and then go home to the other countries would probably demand it there. One of the things we've, we've always done as AWG as a company to differentiate ourselves, we, you won't see our branding on the airports that we run. We really position ourselves as the airport's partner operating the Wi-Fi service on their behalf. 
I think the, the next thing we're really seeing happen in the Wi-Fi space is the, is the cross, crossover between cellular data and Wi-Fi data. Uh, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of interest and a lot of buzz around the concept of cellular offlay, meaning that 3G and 4G services as we know it, 3G is certainly saturated, 4G is nice and fast today, but it will begin to reach a saturation point. The, the take rate or the demand growth for bandwidth in the next five years is 15 to 16 times today's capacity, driven largely by video, whether that's people wanting to go to YouTube or Skype video chat with the kids. And so the, the cellular providers are, are clearly or keenly aware that there will be additional demand on their network. So the idea is then as you're driving up to the airport using that 4G network, as you enter the terminal, your connection will automatically shift off to Wi-Fi. Uh, without you knowing it, it's a seamless transition for you. So it's another driver for the ongoing need for Wi-Fi in airports. Is we provide GPS-like service, but indoors. So we use a venue's existing Wi-Fi deployment, and we basically can position people within one to three meters of where they physically are standing within the venue, and give them directions to anything else that the venue seems fit. Uh, also, we can provide additional content based on your location. Since we know where you are, we can provide things like coupons, dynamic content, whether it's be audio or video, uh, or even just text or links to other websites. How an airport would use this is essentially we can also tell between pre and post security, uh, so we can provide wayfinding within an airport. Uh, we can also do things when gates dynamically change, we can help you find your gate and then also just provide a much more uh, rich experience for the end user when they're coming to the airport to show them where restaurants are, ATMs, rest, uh, washrooms, you name it. Uh, that's essentially our application.